Hello everyone, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to explain about the principle of working of OTEC. OTEC means it is a ocean thermal energy conversion. Here, it is an indirect conversion of the solar energy. Whenever the solar rays falls on the ocean surface, that will be get heated and it stores the heat energy. The ocean is a large uh, trap of the solar energy. As there is a large surface of the ocean energy, it is receives the solar energy so that we can that energy we can convert into solar energy. That is, it behaves like a solar energy collector. And here the surface water is about the 25 to 35 degrees Celsius will be there and if the depth sea water if you take that is having the temperature about the 3 to 7 degrees Celsius if there is a depth of 1 to 2 kilometer is taken. Then here there is a temperature difference of the 20 to 25 degrees Celsius between these two and this whatever the 20 to 25 degrees Celsius temperature difference that warm surface water is used to produce the vapor of the sum of the organic fluids and those vapor can be used to run the turbine and electricity can be generated. And that is the principle behind this working of the OTEC and this particularly ocean thermal energy conversion is used when there in the mid sea the energy is required and the some the potential renewable energy source you want to utilize we can use this ocean thermal energy conversion and this can be used for the submarine applications also and i am going to discuss the working of this ocean thermal energy conversion by using this flow diagram here the otc plant in this one warm surface water used to convert the boiling uh, boiling of the this low boiling point uh, ammonia liquid and that vapor will be generated in the boiler by transferring heat from the that warm surface water to the ammonia and that whatever the ammonia vapor is there at a higher pr pressure the spins the turbine to generate the electricity by converting ocean thermal into the electricity. The used vapor whatever is there that is passed to a condenser where cold water from the uh, ocean depth is supplied to the condenser where it will, vapor of the ammonia will be condensed to a liquid and the liquid ammonia is supplied again by pump to the boiler and this cycle will be continuous and this continued for the continuous generation of the electricity and the used warm water surface water as well as the cold uh, depth water that will be pumped to the sea surface only and here the requirement for the operation of this uh, ocean thermal energy conversion system uh, that is the temperature difference the temperature difference should be around the 20 to 25 degrees celsius usually required for the operation of this one and this working of this ocean thermal energy conversion system can be explained along with its principle is that the water at the surface of the ocean is warmer than water at deeper depths. This temperature difference can be used by ocean thermal energy conversion OTEC systems to generate electricity. In OTEC plant, the energy of the warm surface water is used to convert low boiling point liquid ammonia into gaseous state. The vapor of ammonia at high pressure is used to spin the turbine of generators converting the ocean thermal energy to electricity. The used vapor passed through a condenser where the cold water pumped from the deeper parts of the ocean condenses the ammonia vapor back, to, back into a liquid. This process is repeated again and again to get the continuous production of electricity. The essential condition for it to operate properly the temperature difference between the warm, warmer water at the surface and the cold, colder water at a depth up to the 2 km should be 293 degree Kelvin or 20 degree Celsius or more. That temperature difference is required to operate this one as it is one of the renewable energy potential that can be used for the supply of the energy and generate the electricity from it. Thanks for watching. 
इफ यू लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब एंड कमेंट